Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel Embed Bits and Bytes. Today we are going to learn about binary and hexadecimal number system. Modern day computers use electricity to work. Inside the microchip, the electronic switch or the transistor is either turned on or off. An on state is represented by 1 and an off state is represented by 0. This is called binary. Inside the computer, everything is stored in binary form. Microcontrollers and microprocessors work only in hexadecimal number system. Every number that is written in this subject is always in hexadecimal format. Either when it comes to representation of data, like when your microcontroller wants to send a data to a sensor, then it will be in hexadecimal format or when you want to represent the memory addresses, it is also in hexadecimal format. Students wonder why. What's wrong with our age-old decimal system? Hexadecimal system was a necessity, it was a need. This video is all about that. The age-old number system that the humans were using since the Roman times and what we all have learned since the childhood is a decimal number system. A single digit goes from 0 to 9 and you have totally 10 different values or symbols. Now if I want to represent a decimal number in binary, let us look into how many bits we need. If I using only one bit, I can represent only two values. So that is 0 and 1. But if I want to represent 2, I don't have a binary value. So I need to use 2 bits. Even if I use 2 bits, I can use only 4 combinations. And I can't go beyond 4. So how many bits do I need to represent the complete 0 to 9? The answer is 4 bits because even if I use 3 bits I can get only 8 combinations but what I have in my hand is 10 combinations so I need to use 4 bits to represent them so for 0 you have the representation of it in 4 bits 0 to 9 and it goes like this 0 0 1 is represented as 1 2 as 10 3 as 11, 4 as 100, 5 as 101, 6 as 110, 7 as 111, 8 as 1000, and 9 as 1001. So there is a trick to calculate the decimal to binary conversion without actually memorizing them. Like how you have placed values in decimal systems like 1s, 100s, 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. We have the same in the binary system, which is in the powers of 2. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 and 2 power 3. What is 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4 and 2 power 3 is 8. So you have 1, 2, 4, 8 left to right. For every decimal number, try breaking them into powers of 2. For example, 5. 5 is 4 plus 1. Under the place value of 1 and 4, put a 1. And the place value which we are not making use of, put a 0. So, putting them all together will give you the binary conversion. Likewise, for 7, try breaking down into powers of 2. It is 4 plus 2 plus 1. Under these place values, put a 1. And the one which we are not using put a 0. So you get 1, 1, 1 for 7. And for 9, 9 is 8 plus 1. So under the place value of 1 and 8 put a 1. And the ones which you are not using put a 0. This is for 4 bits. If it's in the case of 5 bits, you have you will be having 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is 16. So you will be having 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. But the same concept should be followed. So to represent 1 digit in decimal, I need 4 bits. Hope we are clear with that now. 
but in 4 bits you can get only 16 combinations. What I have now is only 10 combinations. 6 more combinations are going for a toss. 6 more combinations do not have equivalent representation in decimal system. So, for rest of the combinations, they need to be assigned a symbol. There came the need for representing 16 symbols in one digit and the birth of hexadecimal system. If we go in decimal, we will be having only 0 to 9. They are of one digit. But later, A, B, C, D, E, F were added to represent 10 to 15. And this as a whole is a hexadecimal number system. Now every possible binary combination has now a representation. On a single digit you are getting 16 values. That is more information in less space. You may wonder why just decimal system? Why not just decimal system? Why hexadecimal? The difference is not so huge. Only 10 and 16. Only 6 more. Why should we use hexadecimal? When we take it as a one digit, the difference seems to be less. But if you consider four digit number, what is the highest four digit number in decimal? It is 9999. But in hexadecimal, it is F, 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 which is close to 65,535. Now I get 50,000 more representation or 50,000 more combinations of data. Both are using the same space, but I get more information only in hexadecimal number system. In computers, we do not use neither the decimal number system or the hexadecimal number system. It's only for the real world. Inside the computer, everything is in the form of binary. But it is not in the binary form of decimal numbers, but it is in the binary form of hexadecimal numbers. So that you can represent the combination of every four bits. So let's take some examples for easy conversion of hexadecimal to binary. 35 H. Let's split 3 and 5 separately. Now you know every hexadecimal digit occupies 4 bits in binary. So here you have two numbers. So it occupies 8 bits in binary. First let's take the digit 5. We will break it down into powers of 2. 5 as I said earlier it is 4 plus 1. So under the place value of 4 and 1 we will put a 1. And in the rest of the places, we will put a 0. Similarly, for 3, it is 2 plus 1. Under the place value of 1 and 2, we will put 1, 1. And in the rest, 4 and 8, we will put a 0. So, the conversion of 35H to binary is 00110101. So, let's see more examples. 74H. So 74, you write the 7 and 4 separately. 4, break it down into powers of 2, it is 4. Under the place value of 4, put a 1. For 7, when you are breaking down into powers of 2, it is 4 plus 2 plus 1. Under these place values, put a 1. And the rest of the place values, which we are not making use of, put a 0. Combining them together, you get the binary conversion. 0, 1, 1. 10100 and A3H. A is 10 and 3. Decimal number 3 is same in hexadecimal as well. So for 10, what makes 10? 8 plus 2 makes 10. So under these place values, put a 1. And for 3, 2 plus 1 makes 3. So under these place values, put a 1 and the rest of the place values put a 0. So when you try breaking down into like this, it is very easy. Hexadecimal conversion to binary is very simple. So I hope you understood 
this conversion process by now. So what is the range of a 8 bit and a 16 bit number? Inside the computer everything is binary. Not the binary form of decimal number but the binary form of hexadecimal number. I hope you are thorough with this one statement alone. One digit in hexadecimal occupies 4 bits. Two digits occupy 8 bits. That is 1 byte. So what is the least 8 bit number or a 1 byte number that I can represent in hexadecimal number? That is 00H is the least possible number. And the highest number will be FF turning all the 8 bits on that is 111111 and its decimal conversion is 255. So for a 1 byte my range is 0 to 255. I cannot use 255 and beyond and represent it as a 1 byte number. Then I, I should go to a 16 bit number. What is the least 16 bit number 0000H? So which is represented in 4 places because 1 digit is equivalent to 4 bits. So, 4 into 4 makes it 16 bits. Okay. The highest 16 bit number is FFFFF. So, its decimal conversion is 65,535. So, when I am using a 16 bit number, I can represent it from 0 to 65,535. And I can't represent a number beyond that. So, I hope you are clear with the hexadecimal number system and the binary number system by now. Thank you for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.